Besides all the famous Cessnas, Pipers, and Beechcraft, there are dozens of aircraft manufacturers that might not be as popular, but their planes might hold many more records and innovations than well-known names. In some rare cases, even more than all of them combined. Welcome to Big Metal Birds, and in today's video, we will tell the story of two brothers who, being self-taught engineers, designed a plane that, during more than 50 years of continuous upgrades, became the fastest single-engine piston plane ever built. So, buckle up. We are about to tell a truly unique story of the Mooney M20. It all started when two brothers, Albert and Arthur Mooney, founded Mooney Aircraft Company in 1929 in the aviation capital of the United States, Wichita, Kansas. While the brothers successfully found funding and began working on their first plane, a stock market crash followed by the Great Depression made the Mooney Corporation close its doors in 1931. Later, Albert worked a salaried job at Belanca, which managed to stay up in these hard times due to the contracts with the Navy. After that, Mooney designed a few airplanes for a small startup called Monocoop, but the heart was calling to pursue his own dream. In July 1946, Albert and Arthur resurrected the Mooney Aircraft Corporation and began working on their first plane, the M18 Might. The goal was simple, extremely low operating costs, reliability, and, let's not forget, the fun factor. Might was a single-seater, low wing with retractable tricycle landing gear. Speaking of gear, it was the first plane with retractable undercarriage on the market after World War II. Might also featured a unique safe trim system. This mechanism linked the wing flaps to the tail trim system and automatically adjusted the horizontal stabilizer angle when the flaps were deflected, reducing or eliminating pitch changes when the flaps were lowered. Also, worth mentioning that distinct tail shape that all Moonies share, look at the mite, it all started with this model from 1947. However, the market for single-seaters was quite limited, and Mooney decided to shift their focus to a larger four-seater plane, the M20. Initial development of the M20 started even when might was in production, but since Mooney was losing approximately a thousand on each M18 in the late 1940s, the development of the M20 accelerated, and its first flight took place in September 1953, with certification granted in 1955. In 1955, the company sold 10 of them. Due to startup costs, they lost about $3,000 on each airplane. In 1956, they delivered 51 airplanes, and in 1957, the total was 105. The airplane gained attention because it was able to achieve speeds up to 170 miles per hour with 150 horsepower Lycoming 0320. It was pretty fast for that time, especially with a smaller engine. In 1958, the M20A joined the lineup with a larger 180 horsepower Lycoming 0360, and by 1959, this was the only model offered with a total sales that year of 231 units. This was the first year the company made a profit. Throughout the next 50 years, Mooney will constantly upgrade the M20. Let's take a closer look. The first two models had wing and tail structural frames made from wood, but were replaced with aluminum in M20B in 1961. In 1962, the M20C had several improvements over the M20B including greater deflection on control surfaces, reduced cowl flap openings for better engine cooling, improved exhaust scavenging, and an increased gross weight. In 1963, the M20D was introduced, essentially an M20C with fixed landing gear and a fixed pitch propeller. This had a slightly lower price than the M20C and was intended as a basic or trainer model, which would have lower insurance costs and could compete with the Piper Cherokee 180. In 1964, the M20E Super 21 was introduced. It was also based on the M20C, but with a more powerful 200 horsepower Lycoming fuel-injected engine. In 1965, 
a new feature was introduced to the M20. It was called Positive Control and was a single-axis autopilot produced by Britain Industries. It maintained the wings of the airplane in a level position unless a button on the control wheel was depressed for turns and banks. A new model, the M20F Executive 21, offered more legroom due to a 10-inch increase in cabin length, which also allowed for a third fuselage side window. The M20G Statesman, a version of the M20F with a less powerful 180 horsepower engine, was released in 1968. It had a larger airframe than the M20C, but the same engine, and as a result, was slower. Then, M20J was introduced in July 1976. It was also known as the Mooney 201 because it was capable of 201 miles per hour with its 200 horsepower engine. In 1979, the company's first turbocharged M20 was released, the M20K 231, so designated because its top speed was 231 miles per hour. It was based on the earlier 201 with further improvements. It had a wider wingspan and a six-cylinder Continental engine. The next new model, the M20K 252, appeared in early 1986 with a top speed of, you guessed it, 252 miles per hour thanks to the intercooled TSIO 360 MB engine. This was followed in 1988 by the M20L PFM powered by a Porsche PFM engine, which had been developed from the 911 Carrera engine. One new feature on this airplane was the replacement of the throttle, mixture, and propeller controls with a single power control. The mixture and propeller rotation speed were automatically adjusted based on the setting of this single control. In 1989, the M20M TLS was released. It was powered, as the name hinted, by a turbocharged Lycoming six-cylinder engine that produced 270 horsepower, and it had a three-bladed propeller. It was capable of cruising at 230 miles per hour and had a range of 1,000 miles. Then, the M20R Ovation was released in 1994. It was powered by a 280 horsepower Continental IO550 engine. Of the 91 Mooney aircraft manufactured in 1995, 54 were Ovations. This model was named Flying Magazine's Single Engine Plane of the Year in 1994. The following year, Mooney showed an upgraded model of the TLS called M20M, with a more powerful Lycoming 540. Soon after the release, the TKS ice protection system was offered as an upgrade. The M20K Encore was released in 1997. An M20K with more horsepower and a higher gross weight, it also had an improved interior and reduced cabin noise levels. The M20S Eagle, released in 1999, was powered by a 244 horsepower Continental IO550. Finally, in 2006, Mooney released M20TN Acclaim. Powered by a Continental TSIO 550G power plant with twin turbochargers and dual intercoolers. But even that wasn't enough for Mooney, and despite the crisis of 2009, and thanks to the global investments later in 2013, the company presented two new models in 2016, the M20U Ovation Ultra and the M20EV Acclaim Ultra, with the M20EV becoming the fastest single-engine piston plane in the world. But let's dive even deeper to see what makes the M20 family so special and helps them maintain their popularity for all this time. One of the distinct features of all Mooney, their tail. Its fin looks as though it is leaning forward, but it is approximately vertical in level flight, depending on the trim setting. Interesting fact is that the horizontal tailplane, which consists of fixed stabilizers and trailing elevators, has no trim tabs. The entire tail assembly pivots at the rear of the fuselage to provide pitch trim. Another interesting feature is what Mooney calls a power boost. For normal operations, the intake air is filtered before it enters the induction system. When ram air is selected, partially unfiltered air enters the induction system with a higher pressure, and consequently, 
the manifold pressure increases about a full inch of mercury, flying at 7,500 feet above sea level, giving a greater power output. The turbocharged variants omit this feature, as the turbocharger provides a far greater increase in manifold pressure. While these features are not unique to Acclaim, let's check the specs of that bird in particular, as there are quite a few things worth mentioning. M20V boasts a length of 26.8 feet, a height of 8.4 feet, and a wingspan of 36.6 feet. Having some of the non-integral parts made of composites, it has an empty weight of 2,380 pounds, with a useful load being around 1,000 pounds. Continental TSIO 550 is what gets this bird flying so fast. This six-cylinder turbocharged engine is capable of 280 horsepower, which, when combined with a three-bladed Hartzell scimitar prop, is capable of cruising at a whooping 230 knots. Most planes have V never exceed at 200 or less, but this plane had no stress pushing even 240 and even 50 knots at 25,000 feet. The standard fuel tank capacity is 100 gallons, which will give you an approximate range of 1,100 nautical miles. There is an option for long-range tanks, which can increase the range to 1,300 miles. Stepping inside the cabin, Mooney maintained a great balance between sportiness and comfort. Soft leather seats, clean panel layout, big windows, and even USB ports in front and back. What else do you need? It is worth mentioning that Acclaim has one of the lowest noise levels in the cabin in this class. As we wrap our video, I just want to say that the M20 is a perfect example of the evolution of general aviation, and despite all the turbulent times the company faced, it made a brilliant aircraft that is a joy to fly. Isn't it truly amazing to witness how much engineering, innovation, and dedication Mooney has put into M20 throughout these years? In case you are a lucky pilot of M20, let me know your experience in the comments below. I would love to hear it. Thanks so much for watching our video, and I'll see you in the next one.